Hey everyone, this is Mambo Sandy, and today I'm going to talk about love, I'm going to talk about some romance, and why sometimes you may be having problems in your relationship and you don't know. I'm not saying this is all the time, but these are some things that can happen in your relationship that, and you might not know this is going on, and you might have gotten love spell after love spell attraction spell after attraction spell bring him back spell after bring him back spell and he just ain't coming back or he just don't want to be bothered with you period point blank okay so one of the reasons that this can happen one of the big reasons that this can happen um from working with my papa hector and from working with myself working you know on my own is Ursula freda has a tendency of getting in the road in some relationships. How does this happen? Well, one of the reasons it happens is because people go messing around with her and they don't understand that Ursula Freda loves men, she loves romance and everything to do with it, okay? And she doesn't like to share. Now, this is evidently clear across the board when there was the fight between herself and Ursula Dantor. We're talking about a human, a, a spirit. So imagine what she gonna do to you. <laughs> imagine what she can do to you, okay? Ursula Freda can make your man hate you. She can make every flaw that you have evident. Every flaw, every stretch mark, every wrinkle, every this and that, he will start honing in on it and he will cause you, you just won't understand where this come from. And some women out there might be like, well, I didn't have this problem in the beginning of the relationship with him. Well, darling, either A, you hadn't started messing maybe around with Ursula Freda. B, if he already has Ursula Freda, maybe you weren't around as much and you wasn't really a threat, okay? You weren't really around for his attention to be going on he, on you instead of, and he might not even know. Sometimes men know. I mean, if they're in the culture, they understand these things and their tradition and the spiritual things, they might understand this. But some men don't know. Some men just don't know that this is what's going on. Okay, so male spirits can do this to females. Okay, male spirits, some of them will get in the way and they cannot keep a man. I've learned this from my godfather. I learned this working with him. Okay, seeing and listening. All right. They will be like, mm -mm, nope. And get right in the way. And it doesn't matter what love spell, love candle, love sachet, whatever these things people selling online nowadays. It ain't going to help you, baby. It ain't going to help. Okay, because they're there and they're not moving and they're not. You got to know what you're doing. Period. You just have to know. Okay. And let me tell you how this can play out. The woman goes and gets a reading done. She gets the reading done, and the reader sees a, man, a, a female, another woman, or however it might show up. And sometimes some women will go back like, yeah, I found out that you're doing such and such, and he's not doing such and such. But her influence is so heavy. Her influence is so heavy around that man, especially if like she's in his court, or she just wants him. That it will manifest like that. Yes, ma'am. It will manifest like that. It'll manifest like that. And what are you going to do? And this is why as spiritual workers, we need to, I'm going to say as spiritual workers need to talk to one another more and really, truly like stop being so nitpicky and so, you know, fighting for the little bit of wooden nickels that's on the table because you know what? There's a lot of instances that this has happened. All right. Some spiritual workers, they got it. They understand. They can see it. But some, many of these new spiritual workers, honey, Okay. They haven't had the pro proper training, and I can say this, they have not had the proper training 
and they just want to get up and go and they don't understand that they're influencing people's lives that they are injecting themselves in people's lives and they don't have a clue of what is going on okay another cause and i mentioned this before another cause that can be causing your relationship issue ladies is you have not taken care of some female some child spirits that you might have had an abortion you might have had a miscarriage you may not you may have had a stillbirth okay and you didn't take care of that now, maybe those children might go on about their business, but maybe not, okay? So these are the deeper layers of things that can happen as to why you cannot have a relationship last, okay? Why people keep jumping in your relationship, why all these things are happening. Because there are underlying issues that must be dealt with, okay? There are, it could be that if you're a spiritual worker or a spiritual person, all right, and you got on this path and you're doing what you're supposed to do, then you stop because you get involved with someone and you're scared that they might not take to what you're doing. So then what? Now you're not taking care of your responsibilities, so basically the spirits will start messing with what is important to you. And to what's important to people, relationships and money. So they'll get your attention. They will get your attention. And this is also why we as spiritual workers, when we tell you, please don't go messing with certain spirits, please leave certain spirits alone. And Ursley Freda is one of them. Because if you're a woman and you decided, well, I'm going to start dealing with Ursley Freda because of X, Y, and Z. Well, she can start liking your man. And then your man becomes her man. And now you have problems. And if you're a male who... You decide for whatever reason you want to start dealing with Ursula Freda and messing around and doing things, uh, putting out services and things like that. Well, you brought that on yourself too. And it depends on how she feels and it depends, you know, on how strongly she feels about you. All right. And once again, you can run and you can go get a spell here and a spell there. And guess what, baby? It ain't going to work. It might work for a little bit of time. It might, if take at all, if take at all. So this is why when you go and you get readings and you go and you get consultations, you need to take it upon yourself once again to do your research, okay? Because if the channel is not clear, all right? And I'm not saying that, a spiritual worker is supposed to see everything because they don't. However, there are some things when you are a clear channel, you are able to see that you don't see before you start to become more clear. How do I know this? Because I myself and my growth as a spiritual worker, the more and more I started doing my spiritual work the more i started growing as a spiritual worker there were more things that i started to pick up on in my readings as my growth as a spiritual worker from when i first got involved in these things in like 90 not like 2000 2002 around that time okay my readings became more clearer all right so therefore and that came from training that came from sacrifice all right and doing what i need to do so i can help people with their relationships because everyone wants someone to love all right now i said male spirits i did mention that i think male spirits also can do this all right Male spirits can inject themselves in the relationship and a woman is wondering why she can't keep a man because that man is feeling some type of way because he feels like he's not alone in that relationship. And I explained this to you 
when you know i was heavy chango this chango 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 yeah chango gave me protection but you know what chango did it was very hard for me to have a relationship and men felt like they was being challenged it wasn't until i met my godfather that he helped me to start to get that in line and to get in balance and it took time Okay, because just because you find out what the problem is doesn't mean it's going to be solved overnight because the problem was there for a long period of time. And that's the other thing. So let me be clear before I go. If you come to me for help and you want me to help you with your issue, here are my steps. I don't know about anybody else, but here are my steps. A consultation must be had. So before you pick up the phone and call my phone number or email me or anything, understand a consultation will be needed. A consultation is only $77 for 20 minutes, which is time for you to ask me whatever questions it is that you want to ask and get information. All right. Before I start work, on any type of love issue that or any issue period that is what is needed okay and like I always say I may not be the cheapest I may not be the most expensive I charge a moderate rate okay and that is a fact so once again just to recap, okay, Ursula Freda is not a spirit that you just want to go dancing around and playing around with because if she decides to like your man more than you, you can have an issue. If the man has Ursula Freda in his court, he might know, he might not know, all right, because some people are just not into spiritual things. She can cause a problem. She can really make him see every flaw about you become nitpicky almost like a girl because it's a woman that is influencing him a female spirit all right that's picking up on this and things that most men be like i don't care about no stretch marks i don't care about that but all of a sudden now that's a problem all of a sudden your weight is really a problem all of these things become issues and problems that weren't issues and problems before it's because she wants you to get the hell away from that person okay now, like I said, it takes an eye to truly see what is going on. To recap again, she can show up in readings and you might think or the person might think like, oh my God, like this person is cheating going on, but really, nope, it's her influence. It's her influence this is what's going on this is what's happening and the same vice versa if it's a female and there's a male spirit or involved okay so there's more to what meets the eye it's more to what you see out here okay it's much more so if you're having issues and you're having problems and you're really ready to tackle this situation to see you know what's going on could it be children could it be other issues being you know causing problems in your relationship well please feel free to contact me help at mambosandy.com to book a consultation um i'm also gonna have my keen line on just in case you know maybe you can't book a consultation you know because of your schedule but if you happen to see my line on you and i'm making it affordable all right like I'm making it affordable, all right, that if you have questions and you just can't book, you know, normally, you can reach out to me that way. So I'll be putting that up. But um, if you have any questions that you want answered, the best thing to do is to book a consultation. I'm not going to just start talking to you on the phone. Okay, if you call me and you happen to reach me and my secretary is busy, I'm going to tell you to book a consultation because it's not fair to other people who are waiting in line or waiting for their call for me to just overlook their time so that I can, you know, just answer what you have for me, the questions you have. 
So those are those are some new things that I'm implementing coming up in 2020. I actually might start I'm actually starting to implement it already. But yes, those are the issues that sometimes cause problems in people's relationships. You know, from female spirits, in particular Ursley Freda, to male spirits, to children that have passed over. So these are the things that have caused people problems in their relationship. These are the things that have manifested in different ways and has broken people up. So if you feel like you're ready to get on this path to solve your, you know, your issues, to get things right, be ready to take it all the way for the long haul. If you feel like you're flighty and you feel like you're not going to do this, then I don't recommend that you contact me. I don't recommend that. I recommend that you get yourself together in your mind. Okay. And once you have, and you understand like, okay, you know, this is going to be a process. I have to book a consultation. Then this is what you're going to do. All right. This is Mambo Sandy. Have a good day and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.